Hey Globals, welcome to the Smart City Expo World Convention from Barcelona from the 5th and 7th of November, three days where the theme is Live Better. We're merging more than 25,000 attendees from 850 cities, more than 600 speakers, 1,100 exhibitors. We're talking about the future of mobility, building, governance, environment, and we have also the Deep Tech Barcelona. Come and check it out. having me. Uh, so I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ride. Uh, we're working on refurbished micromobility. So we want to make micromobility truly circular, cut down carbon emissions from manufacturing, as well as provide way more affordable e-scooters and e-bikes to both consumers and businesses alike, uh, but of, of the highest quality and warranty backed. So that's where we're operating currently in Spain and France, but with ambitions to go across Europe and hopefully globally very soon. What I've been up to is I'm, my company is about bringing together the public and private sector, so bringing startups together with cities and governments to help them solve challenges. What we find a lot at the moment is that startups really struggle to communicate in the way the cities articulate their challenges. At the same time, you've got cities who just are not aware of the ecosystem out there. So when we look at all the startups here at this conference, they're just not aware of those solutions. They don't have an understanding of the marketplace. So what I do a lot is to help bring those two sides of the equation together to help them harness their each other's benefits. Um, at Citizen Dialogue Kit, we make interactive displays to engage citizens in a local place where something is about to happen, has happened, or where you want to target a specific audience as a city or municipality. With the interactive display that is completely wireless and powered on batteries, you can easily, without uh, the infrastructure costs of pulling electricity or of installing a Wi-Fi hotspot, engage those citizens. We have an online platform that's attached to it that allows any citizen, uh, any any municipality or city to easily create a survey, manage a survey remotely and also look at the information that's coming in, so all the survey results reported by the citizens. Um, it's quasi-live, so every one hour the device will transmit all the results to our online platform where then the city or municipality can analyze using our anal analytics in the platform. Hi Trent, uh, yeah, great to see you here. So what do we do at Urban Impact? Basically we bring the startup venture capital world and all the cool bottom-up innovation that is happening by founding teams from across the world, but specifically from Europe, bring that together with the world of cities, real estate, utility companies, public sector, and what we really feel is we need to build a bridge, we need to find more scalable ways, that's why we look at test beds. We just here, actually, just today launched a big new initiative, it's called City Solutions. It's a storytelling platform, but also a place for city challenges and test beds to promote what's going on in their city, to really make sure that Basically, there's an easy way on the demand side to find out, you know, where you can approach um, the right partners and actually deploy your solutions. Basically, Jana is a startup which is connecting consumer brands with uh, verified projects in the global south. And that's really where Jana comes in because there are thousands and thousands of projects out there. And how do you know which one to trust? How do you know where to send your money? Yeah. You don't. And if you do, you want to see where does the money go? Can I see it in real time? What is actually happening? And in most cases, you can't. But that is what you can do with Jana. That's what makes us unique. And our experience in the game has proven that if you do things the right way, you can actually avoid greenwashing scandals and uh, everything that is bad for a big business to be associated with, but you still want to do the good things, and, and that's really where Jana comes in. So what is going on is that this is an example how the collaborative robot can work in the gastrosphere. So in fact, this is something in between marketing and the cool just technology which shows how we can work in the gastrosphere. Actually to, to tap the beer is not so an easy task. It's, uh, the beer is very inconsistent, 
so we should manage the form, etc. So right now we did not manage it well because it's a new CAC. So right now we're still managing those problems somehow to actually make it make it absolutely perfect. But actually to tap the beer, we need even the neural networks because to measure to measure the beer beer level in the cup is not so easy task. So we measure it with the neural network and the cameras, which is installed here. We have four endoscopic cameras and the segmentational neural network just detecting the level of the beer in the cup. Mm -hmm. So it's there's more than 35 sensors inside. So it's very, very technological stuff. So cool. Yeah. So here's the reward, right? Exactly. So <laughs> I'm gonna take <laughs> this. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks.